Hello my lovelies, it's Sandal from Substance Over Style and welcome to a new video. So today I want to talk a little bit about the real coronavirus. Um, so I channeled some thoughts on this a couple of days ago, posted about it on Instagram the other day and I just needed like a couple of days to integrate um, because the day before yesterday I had a really really powerful um, Akashic record reading um, with somebody that I connected with on Instagram called Oracle Owen um, and yeah it was super super powerful we tapped into a couple of three different other timelines um, other lifetimes that I'm living out in other dimensions or in other times um, and the themes that it brought through were really really relevant with my work here in this lifetime um, and I was able to activate some of the gifts that I embodied in those other lifetimes as well that I'd actually already been working on. I talked about it, um, I did an Instagram post today where I also talked about it and I'm going to go into more detail on um, what was channeled during that session um, in another video. Um, so if you're interested to hear more about that then tune in, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell um, icon to get notified when I upload that um, because I feel like right now at this time of like great change and great awakening um, a lot of us who've been doing the spiritual work and the healing work and you know trying to live by right action in alignment with you know universal laws and try and you know be our best selves um, are being called now to help be kind of guides and way showers to um, help others step more fully into their power and live their best lives and live in alignment with nature um, and all that good stuff. So if you're looking for a little bit of clarity on your mission here, I really recommend that you consider having an Akashic uh, record reading with Owen. I got so much benefit out of mine. Like I, I really, like I can't tell you how helpful I found it. Um, so I'll put his contact in the description box below. So if you feel called to do that, then definitely consider it if you have any questions then I'm here you can DM me on Instagram if you want to know more about how my session was and what was brought through then I'm happy to um, answer any of your questions so yeah and I just want to say a huge thank you to Owen to, for, to, for actually reaching out and um, he actually said during the session that it was um, that I want that my other one of my other selves one of the other aspects of who I am in other timelines reached out to him um, during meditation and told him to contact me in this lifetime and do the reading um, and we actually shared a lifetime together so it was really really powerful and I needed kind of like a full day yesterday to kind of integrate um, some of those lessons he was also able to kind of um, verify details about my ancestry that he wouldn't have known otherwise because I haven't really talked about it online um, so you know I'm quite convinced that a lot of the stuff that he channeled was, was based in truth um, as you know as with everything I think it's important to um, m maintain a healthy skepticism but also just to keep an open mind okay so let's get into the video where we talk about coronavirus my thoughts on the coronavirus and how we can empower ourselves um, moving forward with uh, the situation that we now found, find ourselves in okay so firstly I just want to start off by saying that everything that happens on this physical plane is a manifestation of something that's happen, happening on the mental plane um, so those of you who are familiar with the Hermetic Principles um, or other kind of uh, cult science teachings um, will know that the universe is mental uh, if you study quantum physics you'll also know that everything starts as a thought now what is a thought a thought is basically a frequency it's a vibration it's a wave within the electromagnetic spectrum and these thoughts basically then manifest as emotions and then actions and then they physically manifest into the visible light spectrum which is the world that we perceive as being the physical or the 3D plane, 3D and 4D because we also perceive time as a linear dimension. So 
this virus that we're seeing manifesting on the physical and within people's physical bodies started off as a virus on the mental plane. So what does that mean? What is a virus? A virus is a code, it's information. Um, now our DNA, our, we have a, a double helix strand of DNA. A virus is a single strand of DNA. So the virus infects the DNA of the host and it alters its DNA. So basically this virus is causing a change within our physical vessels that we are now having to integrate. Now, the coronavirus is actually a very old virus. This is not a new thing that has come about. Coronavirus is just the word for a type of common cold. Um, the particular strain that we're dealing with now, the COVID-19, is a, a, a particularly nasty strain that can result in pneumonia for people who are susceptible. Um, but for most people, they will just experience this virus as a common cold. The real virus is the way that the the fear of the virus manifests in our thoughts, our feelings and our actions. So now we're being called to kind of quarantine ourselves in order to stop the virus spreading quite so quickly. Okay, so now I've heard some people g uh, give the theory that this is biological warfare um, designed to, I've heard all kinds of conspiracy theories, I'm not saying any of them are true or untrue, you know, I think it's, in, you can, it's important to look at all different sides uh, and perspectives of what's going on, look at all the evidence in order to get at the truth. Um, so for people who are truth seekers, by all means look at all the different theories about what's going on, take it all in, keep an open mind and see how things play, play out. But just remember to remain sovereign, don't believe things that people tell you just because they say that they do. Trust the wisdom of your body and what it's telling you and, and ask yourself, ask your higher self to reveal to you what's true and how you should act at this time. Um, so some people are saying that there's a plot to introduce mandatory vaccinations. Denmark just introduced a bill to um, uh, instigate mandatory vaccinations should a vaccine for COVID-19 become available. Italy already introduced mandatory vaccinations before the virus even came out. So there, there is some credence to that um, theory. Other people say it's not about the virus at all. It's about, you know, creating mass hysteria to shut down the economy and introduce a cashless society. David Icke was a main proponent of that theory. That's, there's also credence to that because I think I, it's my belief that it, the, the effects, the economic effects of the virus are going to have much worse consequences if we allow it than the virus itself. Um, so I just want people to be mindful of that because usually if you allow fear to control you and to control your actions, um, then that does actually end up manifesting in real world results. Um, so we do need to be mindful of the economy. Other people say, and I do really like this theory, that it's a cover to take down the deep state um, and to get rid of the Federal Reserve um, and return to a gold-backed currency. So, uh, you know, for those of you who aren't aware, the Federal Reserve is a corporation that owns the United States um, that, you know, taxpayers must pay um, uh, interest on loans that are given to the government um, by the Federal Reserve and create a system of debt slavery, inflation, boom and bust. So a lot of these recessions are the byproduct of this debt slavery system that we find ourselves in. So I do, whether that, that theory is true or not, I do think it's important to plant seeds just because um, the more people become aware of these things that have uh, caused these problems that we're seeing playing out on the world stage, the more we're able to um, visualize alternative systems that will help us build the new earth that we're now moving into. Okay, so um, a lot of people have been sending me um, you know, information and evidence to support the idea that this virus was prophesied or predicted. Um, now, just because a, uh, an event is prophesied or predicted does not necessarily indicate foul play or any kind of conspiracy or the fact that it was planned. It is perfectly possible that people can prophesy things either just by coincidence or there are people who can just see into future timelines because time 
time is not a linear construct as we experience it. As three-dimensional beings, we experience it as if it's linear. And I'll put a, I'm going to put a video in the description box below where, um, to a video by Kerry McCarthy where she explains this really, really well. Um, but if you imagine time is like a, a vinyl record, your consciousness is the needle on the record that makes you think that this is this time is the only time that actually is real and that the past doesn't exist anymore and the future also is yet to exist the 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 vinyl exists in reality it's just that the needle is not able to perceive more than one reality at a time so because we are trapped in the prison tra trapped in the prison although you know some would argue whether it's a prison or not but we experience being in this um physical reality in a third three-dimensional body um, we perceive time as being linear but you know it's perfectly possible and I know people who can do it who can see into different future timelines who can see into the past that's what this Akashic record reading was it was viewing different timelines and different aspects of lives that I'm living out consecutively to this timeline even though they might occupy different spaces in time some of them were in ancient India some of them you know some of the lifetimes that you might be living out are in the future um, and you can actually tap into these um, other times now um, so uh, a lot of the um, the news reports that I've seen and then some of the other evidence that I've seen that indicates that um, you know, this was planned, although I'm not sure if I believe that. I'm not saying I don't believe it, but um, I haven't seen enough evidence that it was. Um, the number 3-3 three, three is all over it. Now, I talked about angel numbers and number synchronicities in my video, how to connect with your angels, your spirit guides, um, ancestral guides, um, and how they will communicate in the form of numbers. Now, um, other people were noticing the three threes as well, so it wasn't just me. It was a message for a lot of people um, to collectively notice the threes. Now, some people theorise that the three, the three three indicates that the Freemasons are behind this grand plot because um, th there are thirty three levels of Freemasonry. Now, um, I'm going to dispute this because you know whether it's true or not, I don't know. But like, I don't think that the Freemasons are behind some evil plot to. Ins enslave humanity necessarily I think that there's multiple different um, secret societies and there's good eggs and bad eggs in any or all of them and Freemasonry is no exception to that now Freemasons concern themselves with the great work I've talked about the great work on my channel before the great work is the work of alchemy now what is alchemy alchemy is turning one substance into another so lead into gold something generally more valuable so the great work on this planet is about transmuting energy so transmuting trauma into unconditional love or um, unity consciousness it transforming any any you know n thing that is perceived as negative into something that is per perceived as good or more valuable so you know it's about the kundalini it's about transmuting maybe your creative sexual energy that resides within your lower chakras into divine consciousness unity consciousness and connecting to heavenly father and mother goddess through the earth as well so it's that that kundalini rising and why three three because three three is the number of jacob's ladder you have 33 vertebrae in your spinal column and this energy moves up your spinal column your kundalini um, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, he was crucified at the age of 33 because he was able to activate this energy through his work with his divine feminine counterpart Mary Magdalene and activate his life body and transcend the physical body and awaken to his multidimensional power and that was the message that he was trying to show us that we're all capable of this. Um, Again, the threes, the number three is the number of the Ascended Masters because it's associated with him and also because of it's the number of the Holy Trinity. The three basically represents Divine Masculine Heavenly Father, um, Holy Spirit, so the Father, the Holy Spirit, which is the Divine Feminine, the Goddess, um, come into union and create divine child which is right action so thoughts emotions and action um, so as you start to awaken this kundalini within yourself and connect to god consciousness you start to behave in right action and that's the real virus that's the 
that's the code that is being installed now into our DNA. Okay, so understand that the coronavirus as a common cold has been with us since ancient times. So this virus has infected our crown, our crown chakra our sense of individual and personal sovereignty. Now, what happens when your um, individual sovereignty is corrupted? You give your power away. So generally, when you, when you give your power away, you end up becoming right brain imbalanced and you, um, well, it can get, become corrupted in two ways. You either take, take so much power, you become so power hungry that you become very left brain imbalanced in your toxic masculine energy and you want to control and dominate others. So we see that a lot on this planet. But we also see the opposite, which is the toxic feminine, the right brain imbalance where you give your power away to others. So we're basically living in a world of masters and slaves where individuals lack their own personal sovereignty and their own authority to rule themselves. Uh, okay so one manifestation of that is um we give our power away to the system without question so like for example when you um ha when we have children we register ownership of those children over to the state via the birth certificate that's what the birth certificate is it's registration of your child um as property of the crown or the you know if you live in america then it's it, again, it's property of the crown because America is under the control of the British crown as well through the Rhodes Scholarship. I'm, I don't want to get too deep into that. Um, but that's what happens when we have a virus infecting our crown chakra. We become slaves to a different crown, which is not our own. Okay, so right now we're seeing this virus uh, come to a head. So this battle between, you know, this is one of the most ancient battles that we've seen played out on the global stage. And it's, you know, the subject of many, many Hollywood films. It's this ancient battle of good versus evil, light versus dark, masculine versus feminine, black versus white. Because in this 3D reality, we uh, exist in duality, duality consciousness. So, you know, again, it's this good versus evil battle. So this, as we start to ascend into the new earth, which is uh, a fifth dimensional earth that has been, you know, talked about for a long time. I first came across it in the work of Dolores Cannon that she talked about this time t between 2012 and then 2015 and to 2020, 2020, 2020 vision, where we're actually going to start to see clearly. We're going to open our third eye again with the three, 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 three the three, 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 three eyes. Um, that's not 666, by the way. Um, we're going to uh, send above duality consciousness and we're going to start to see these forces coming together because in order to recognize evil and sh we have to shine the light of truth onto it. So we have to see the evil that is being perpetrated um, in, in this realm. So, you know, the destruction of the earth body the way that we've been abusing her, um, the uh, survival programs that we've been running as we believe in our, um, our separation, our, um, our lack, we believe in a lack of abundance because we've been enslaved by these um, monetary systems such as the Federal Reserve and their removal of the gold standard um, in our currency system. Um, so we've basically become disconnected from the sacred feminine and from Mother Earth and from each other as well. The, like the Earth basically gives for free. So we're naturally tapped into abundance, but we've become disconnected from it because of this virus in our crown chakras. So if you look at like the Vatican, for example, or other global power systems, they occupy the highest position of this feudalistic hierarchy in which we keep giving our power to them. So at the top will be a priest class, then there'll be monarchy, then there'll be governments, then there'll be order followers, so police and military, and then there'll be everybody else at the bottom who's given their sovereignty away to the people at the top. Um, so now we're starting to see these systems crumbling. See, a lot of CEOs have been stepping down. People are starting to wake up to their individual power. 
Um, we're starting to realize that we have power over our health by our lifestyle and by reconnecting to the earth, by you know adopting healthier diets that are more in alignment with nature and not just relying on a system that feeds us processed food that damages our immune systems, not um, supporting an industry that uh, enslaves and slaughters animals on a mass scale and ca causes planetary destruction. We're reclaiming our sovereignty in all these different areas. Um, okay, so also to cons something to consider, uh, this is a virus that attacks the lungs. Okay, so we are fractals of the earth body. We are literally made of the earth. We're made from the soil, we're made from the air, we're made from the, the, the food that, that the earth provides to us. So we're, we are intimately connected to her. Now the lungs of the planet are the rainforest, the rainforest that basically creates the air that we breathe. This is how connected we are to her. And we have been destroying the rainforest piece by piece, because partly because of the um, the the cattle industry and you know animal agriculture and also um, soy that is grown to feed predominantly feed animals. Um, the the Amazon has basically been not just the Amazon but also rainforests all around the world. Rainforests in Sumatra um, have been burning. They've been destroyed. And so when you destroy the lungs of the planet, the natural consequence is that us as children of the earth, our lungs are also going to come under attack as well. So in order to rebalance, the earth is basically now showing us the consequences of our actions and asking us to take measures to save her so that we can save ourselves, but to recognize our interconnected nature because we're also very connected to animals. And if we keep on parasitically feeding on animals, then there will be consequences as well, as some people have theorized that this particular strain of um, the coronavirus was caused by eating bats and snakes and you know other animals like that that we probably shouldn't be eating. Um, it's, and it's not the first time either, like SARS, swine flu, bird flu, all, you know, were theorized to be coming from eating animals. Okay, so I've already talked about how thoughts are things. We collectively manifest our reality, of course. Um, Right, okay, so another consequence of giving our power away to others to rule over us because we don't because we lack individual sovereignty is that these people tend to because they are left brain imbalanced and they are in deep um, deep imbalance where they're in their toxic masculine as dominators and controllers and abusers because that is a natural consequence of being extremely left brain imbalanced and extremely toxic masculine you've seen that with me too that that results in sexual violence against those who um, opposite who occupy the opposite polarity the ext extremely vulnerable um, we're seeing this manifest in its most extreme form for those that have been doing the research on this in um, child trafficking, um, satanic ritual abuse and all these other kinds of things that people have been researching. You know, if you haven't uh, looked into Pizzagate, I really recommend that you look into some of that. Make your own mind up because I know that some people are um, doubtful about how much of this is actually true. But we've already seen coming out in the mainstream media for the last few years um, um, so many child trafficking rings have been bust. They've been they've exposed um, uh, paedophile rings in children's homes, in the police force, in government, in par parliaments riddled with it. Um, in Hollywood, you know the whole um, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein thing is literally just the tip of the iceberg. I really recommend people look deeper into this because there are many people who have kind of called this stuff out and who have testified that these things are going on. Um, now, that's a natural consequence of us giving our power away, and it's also one of the consequences of it is it creates all the problems that we're seeing on the planet, which is the debt slave one of them is the debt slavery system the other one is all the wars and the genocides that are being played out now if you don't understand the connection between that and that then i really encourage you to go and do your research because i feel like it me explaining all of it is outside the scope of this video but um for those of you who know this is a very very ancient evil that's been with us for a really really long time the virus of the crown um 
Um, this is why I talked about in my video um, integrating the shadow self. Um, please go and watch that one if you haven't already, where I talked about SRA because when you integrate your own personal shadows, you actually have to start looking at our collective shadows because we're all we're we're also intimately connected. Um, so we have to look at we're not going to be able to face what's happening on a global scale this real global pandemic that's infected our society if we don't look at how we're individually participating in it so by what we how we aren't individually participating in this by what we stay silent about by what we consent to through our silence um, by the type of music that we listen to because a lot of these people are involved in you know the music industry the film industry the financial industry the corporations the products that we buy things like that that's one of the reasons why i also talk about um ethical fashion on my um on on my platform because having worked in this industry for such a long time i know that the fashion industry is one of the biggest enslavers of humanity and particularly women through uh, sweatshops but also in the way um, that models are treated and i've spoken about how many models are um, insist in you know living in sort of debt slavery as well you know and uh, you know they I, I'm not going get, to get too deep into it right now um, but I've spoken about it before and I can talk about it again um, I'm not saying that it's happening across the industry and in, all the time you know there are ways that um, you can reclaim your power if you're in these types of industries but it is happening um, so sorry where was I going with that yeah so um, when we are able to collectively face our own shadows, each one of us individually, we help to heal the whole because as within, so without. So what we're seeing on a global scale is a collective manifestation of our own shadows. So what we refuse to look at will manifest on, on, on the external stage, but it won't, it won't manifest in a really open way where we're going to see it so openly, but it has drip fed into our into our homes and into our societies because when we give our power away these people are going to start programming us with their ways of thinking so if they think that it's perfectly normal to engage in these kinds of horrible evil practices then they're going to start promoting this in the films you know that they put out in the music that they put out in the kind of imagery that gets created and we mimic it because we gave our power away so we're looking to other people to kind of dictate how what the trends are So yeah, we can see that manifested in, um, I mean, the pornography industry is one huge example of it. Um, the largest, most popular category in pornography is teen, or very legal, and also incest. And when you look at the uh, statistics on uh, CSA, child sexual abuse, one in three girls and women will be molested before the age of 18, and usually by a relative, often the biological father. So if we don't look at how these imbalances are even manifesting within our own families where you know mothers for example who might be occupying the um the toxic feminine polarity are giving their power away um to dominators and abusers then we're not going to be able to integrate this on a global scale um, and th that's not to victim blame or to uh, to blame bystanders because perpetrators are always responsible for their actions. Um, but on the highest level, in tra transcend, we have to be able to trans transcend this duality. The only way that we can fight evil is by shining the light of truth onto it and also unconditional love, which so many people are really, really not ready for. And that's why I talked about in my video integrating the shadow. The way that you integrate your shadows is through unconditional love. So I recommended that people check out Teal Swan's story because she talks in detail um, about her background and how she was basically part of a satanic cult from the age of six years old. And she was not only abused herself, she was forced to perpetrate abuse against other children. So this coronavirus, the virus of the crown, which has been with us since ancient times, 
these practices have been with us since ancient times. So we know about the ancient Greeks and how some of these ancient Greek philosophers would basically sodomize their own students who were, you know, young underage boys. And we're just like, oh, it was just that time and da da da. Well, this is still going on in this time now, but we do not want to collectively face it. And that's why it continues to perpetuate. And I'm not one of these new ages who's just like, oh, let's just ignore that because the more attention we give it, the more it will perpetuate it because, you know, you're you're manifesting it with your thoughts. No, if you ignore it, then that you will continue to manifest more ignorance. Okay, that's one of the that's one of the core things that um, my favorite spiritual teacher Mark Passio teaches. That that's what you end up manifesting more ignorance and more lies and more deception, um, including self deception. Um, so many of the um, actors of these. Um, heinous crimes against humanity um, w were victims, started off as victims because they, they've grown up with this stuff so they've been forced to kind of perpetuate it and uh, it's my belief that kind of that it's not the controllers like they're not occupying the highest position on the pyramid, I think that they are being controlled from above so w when you actually understand this and start to see the bigger picture and you start to um, transcend duality and by transcending duality I don't mean that you don't recognize this as the evil that it is because on this plane it really is um, you are able to say okay we are going to break the pattern now we're no longer going to consent to this we understand why it's been allowed to continue but we we don't want this to continue going forward and we're going to put a stop to this um, and that's all it's going to take it's going to take connecting with your right thoughts divine masculine uh, right beliefs and emotions divine feminine and right child action so we're going to create right action in the world um, not just when it comes to this but when it comes to everything like how we how we be in the world so um a lot of people were also talking about one second okay a lot of people mentioned 5g and how it affects and impacts a human body um, because it's not, let's be honest, it's not good for our bodies. It's basically like turning on a microwave and opening it and that's, um, uh, that goes some way to explaining why this virus has now um, mutated and become so uh, damaging to the human body at this time. Now, the first city to be completely blanketed in 5G was Wuhan, China. So that's an interesting coincidence. Now, what is 5G? So those of you who have been looking into this, like the connection between 5G and 5D is you know, clearly obvious. Why 5G at this time that we're moving into 5D Earth, that we're ascending the Schumann resonance frequency is increasing which is the heartbeat of the planet so we're literally our bodies are increasing in frequency and we're becoming less and less dense and we start to awaken and start to 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 understand interconnected nature of our bodies the earth and the entire universe that we are a part of um so 5g is uh frequency it's a frequency um and it is a very ancient frequency um, that some say was uh, around, this, it's a similar frequency that was around at the times of ancient Kemet. Um, so at this time that we're being asked to quarantine, qu what, what is quarantining? It's uh, going within, it's going into our caves, into our shadows to dance with them, to connect to our sacred feminine the feminine is about drawing within into the earth of the great cosmic mother to, to be rather than do. do doing action is divine masculine so we're being asked to connect to our emotions to be with family to stop doing and to just be and to rebalance our energies so as we rebalance our energies and we connect to the sacred feminine principle of care and compassion, we'll start to realize what's important and how we can move forward and act in ways that are better balanced, that uh, where we have internal monarchy and individual sovereignty and we create right action in the world. So the dark goddess, Ishtar, Inanna, Kali, um, 
you know, Shakina, whatever you want to call her, the Holy Spirit, doesn't matter, like whatever religion you follow, she is awakening within all of us now. And so I'm encouraging everybody to just be still, to meditate, to allow her to move within you and rebalance those energies of divine masculine action and divine feminine care so that we can create right action in the world. Okay, so I think that about covers it all. If any of you have any questions, then feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm available. Uh, Instagram is the best way to contact me, so you can just send me a DM. I'm also offering sessions at the moment, so if anybody wants to talk over anything that they're having problems with related to the topics that I discuss, then I can help you with that. Um, I know that many of you are kind of feeling, again, called to um, help serve because we're all realizing how much of a global community we are now that this lockdown is being, being instigated on a global level. So um, those of you that do want some clarity on where you're going, definitely do consider giving Owen and um, dropping him a message and seeing if he can help you with that as well. Um, and I want to thank you all for watching. I'm going to be bringing a couple more videos to you over the coming weeks. Um, so if you have any questions or any topics of um, interest that you would like me to talk about, then please drop your suggestions in the comment box below. And I will love you and leave you. Thanks so much for watching Soul Fam and take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And I will see you in the next video. One love. You're introduced to LSD, and unless you've, you've taken some other drug, like for instance, like um, marijuana or something, um, well, you know, it's an altogether new thing, and um, you actually can ex have an, a religious experience.